Hey guys, Lord here, back with a new Monster Hunter Rise video. Today's topic of discussion, why is Longsword such a popular weapon? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Guys, before we do get started though, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend Brill, as he has graciously provided the Apex Raytheon run that you guys are seeing in the background now. He's a phenomenal longsword runner, and the links to this video, his channel, and his Twitch will all be at the top of the description. If you guys like to see Longsword played at its maximum potential, I highly recommend you guys check out his work. Huge thanks again to Brill for the footage. Now, on to the discussion. So, why is Longsword consistently the most popular weapon in every Monster Hunter game? Now, of course, there is no way to technically quantify this pre-Monster Hunter world, but Longsword has always been an extremely popular weapon, and in both World and Rise, we've been given actual data to support this. As you guys can see in this chart, in Monster Hunter Rise, as of just a month or so ago, Longsword was featured in 40.2% of all hunts taken in the game. This is an astounding 15.2% ahead of the second place weapon, which is Dual Blades. No other weapon on this chart is even more than 9% ahead of another, but the gap to Longsword is another 6% higher than any other gap between weapons. So why is that? I have boiled it down to what I think are the 5 main reasons that everybody loves Longsword. Number 1. Ease of Use As far as weapon complexity goes, you can get by on very little with Longsword. It's very straightforward and you don't have to use all the moves to get a lot out of this weapon. It has a very good attacking reach with both vertical and horizontal attacks that do not require high animation commitment, so it's not as punishing to go in for an attack as some other weapons might be, such as Great Sword or Hunting Horn or Hammer, and it isn't too hard to just pick up and feel as though you're doing something right. The second reason is its mobility. Some weapons that deal high damage, such as Heavy Bowgun or Greatsword, have a very slow movement speed and even chunky rolls. Longsword allows you to do all the things that we just talked about in point 1, all while still maintaining a high enough movement speed to get yourself out of danger in a very effective manner. Point number 3, it's anime as f I think this one truly speaks for itself, because who doesn't love feeling like their favorite Swordmaster protagonist while fighting big bad monsters? Not to mention how amazing some of the weapon designs are for Longsword. You just feel so raw wielding these gorgeous long blades. Number 4. The Counters Unlike many other weapons, Longsword has not one, not two, but three counter moves in Monster Hunter Rise. Now again, this hasn't always been the case, I will admit, but even in Monster Hunter GU, with Valor Counter, Longsword has been able to be very reactive with its ability to, without sheathing or rolling, dodge and counter attacks in a quick and high damage fashion. With the addition of the Eye Slash and the Serene Pose, Longsword has even more options to just straight up tank attacks and turn it back in favor of the Hunter. And finally, number 5, there's a very high skill ceiling. Now of course these other points do kind of go into the ease of use of Longsword, but I don't want to seem like I'm knocking Longsword. This is of course my most used weapon across all games, and this very reason, the high skill ceiling, is why I asked Brill for his Longsword run versus Apex Raytheon. Because as you guys can see, while you can get by with some skill, being able to Yai Slash perfectly and time out Helmbreakers and know the timing of all your attacks so immaculately really puts this weapon beyond insane for DPS and is extremely satisfying to use. Longsword is a staple in Monster Hunter, a weapon tried and true from the very first game until today. There is nothing quite like watching someone who is a proficient longsword user go to work on a monster, eye framing attacks, perfectly countering whatever move the monster may throw at it, landing that smashing helm breaker on the monster's head to get a perfect knockdown. It is truly an art form at times, but with that being said, it is an art that can be learned by almost anyone. This is an art that leaves no man behind, an inspiration truly for millions of hunters worldwide. Longsword is the most popular for a reason, and I really do hope that I could help you all see that today. I'm sure most everyone has tried this weapon, but if you haven't, I sincerely hope that you do. 
There are few things more fun and more rewarding than mastering the longsword in Monster Hunter. With all that being said, guys, I hope you all have a great day and happy hunting.